So how you guys doing? You guys okay? Yeah. Yep. Hanging Pretty bored. Can't so believe it's you... outside, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm uh, thinking about you, seniors, man. It's uh, you, you're you were everybody in this whole country is in uncharted territory, but you know, you seniors, uh, you guys are in a in a new spot. Here you are at the at the at the last run of your high school career, and you're you're sort of plunged <clears throat> plunged into almost like the real world uh a little bit early at this point so how, how are you guys feeling about that jake what's on your mind so far um well that's certainly an interesting uh challenge and probably just going to use this to like learn something new that'll help me uh further down the road yeah absolutely edward how about you um it sucks because i don't have much to do i've been doing like the same old and um it used to be that uh uh not just work was my only like way to get out i used to play volleyball at hot shots and so now that canceled like four weeks ago so i have literally been doing no physical activity and uh not that there's much of an excuse but i've just been doing nothing so how do we how do we break from that what are what about you jacob have you been able to get some physical fitness in uh I do some like push-ups and setups before I go to bed, and then I'll like if the weather's nice, I'll go outside and like shoot baskets. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's about nice. it. Yeah, you know, you, you know, best advice I've got to you guys: try to try to start your day with some sort of workout if you can. It helps you sort of get the get your energy going. And I know it's hard to do because, um, you know, when you don't have some some place to be, it's like, I mean, I don't need to get out of bed, but, um it's good to get into those habits because at some point this will all, you know, turn. And when it does turn, you're going to need to be ready to go. But, um, you know, you guys have been in my class, uh, and I've seen, I've seen you train with, uh, coach Lynn in, in the volleyball program, you know, even in, in 2018, our teams, the football and volleyball team trained together. Uh, and so I have a great amount of respect for your work ethic and how you guys see, the world is young men, you know, and, um, you know, we wanted to get your perspective on everything instead of, you know, hearing all everything from the adults, because as you know, it doesn't matter how old you are, you know, wisdom and wisdom can come from a variety of sources. My own two, six, my six year old, my four year old teach me a lot, uh, about, about the simple parts of life, you know, and how to enjoy your day and stuff like that. So what are you guys doing? You know, um, what are you guys doing, you know, as far as academics go? How are you able to stay engaged, stay in contact with your teachers and, and complete your work? Well, uh, every day I like to set aside like a certain amount of time from like, so like from like 10 to 12, I'll just dedicate that time just to like work and like study for uh, my assignments and stuff. And then I'll check my email to make sure I'm staying up to date with everything and go into like office hours and stuff like that. Nice. Edward, how about you? When like an assignment is coming up, uh, I'll probably just give myself like two to three days and then I'll just work on it because I have a lot of time, a lot of time, a lot of time. <laughs> a whole lot of it. It's similar to college, even though you're not in there yet. There's a lot more freedom in college. You'll get an assignment, you get your course syllabus, and you're going to be able to manage your own time about how you know that work gets done and, you know, the classes you attend, the time you take those classes, that kind of thing. So I totally understand that. Uh, you know, what's, uh, and is, is everybody healthy, everybody safe in your house, everything okay with you guys? Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone's healthy. That's good. That's good. My voice is kind of hoarse, so people think that I have uh, a sickness, but I really don't. Um, so that was kind of horrible because uh, I was banned from work for uh, a weekend because they thought I had coronavirus, uh, which I did not. So that's always nice. You know, on a, on a smaller scale, you know, that's, that's, you know, unnerving, but you can imagine on a larger scale, there's some, you know, healthcare professionals that are, have been mm -hmm. evicted from their homes because they're working on the front lines, which is a sad state of affairs. You know, what's your comment on, what's your commentary right now on the, the bigger picture? for our country what, what do you think you know what's your what's your initial perspective jacob let's start with you um 
I think it's just a unique challenge that everyone faces and everyone has like their unique like scenario and they have to like keep persevering and we'll all get through this together. That's a great message. I couldn't agree more that we persevere, we show grit, and we get it together, which is a great part of that. Edward, what do you think about the the bigger picture? I think people should like stay informed on uh, things and kind of get a good source. Uh, yeah. My mom works as a nurse, and so she's being kind of berated with the coronavirus, uh, like just facts and stuff, things to like know about it. Um, and so what she's saying is often a lot different than um what like cnn or like fox news is is saying to the public uh and so you know it, it's kind of you need to be conscientious of where you get your information i mean I, what a great message that is for anybody because you know our news organizations uh if they're if they're you know business models based on the number of clicks that they get or engagements that they get then it's hard to it's hard to imagine how objective they can be at all times um you know so it, it's it is important i think that we 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 understand where our information comes from and that we're as objective as we can be if we're if we're able to persevere and able to stick together um you know polarizing messages that sometimes come from the media can be a challenge so i appreciate you guys uh, having the wherewithal to see through that at your age because like i said man there's some people out there that can't uh, so huge credit to you guys. Um, and, uh, you know, your senior year, you guys are, you guys, you know, you were able to complete your volleyball season, but, you know, you had plans, you have plans for the rest of the year. You're hopeful that, you know, you're able to, to, to get back. Um, what advice do you have for some of your classmates? Your classmates are out there. You've been in touch with some of them. I hope, have you guys been in, let's start with that. Have you been in touch with some of your classmates? Like, using this kind of a technology, like how, how are you staying in touch? Uh, <clears throat> mainly through like social media or like I'll text one of my friends randomly just to check out how, how they're doing right now. Yeah. Basically just reaching out. And everybody doing okay? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Good on you to reach out to him. How about you, Edward? Uh, I'm not like, I haven't been in touch with all of my school friends, but my close friends I've been uh, like talking to and checking on. And yeah. we've, um, just done things like outside when the weather was nice, uh, which is obviously not the case right now, but it was like, I think it was like 65 or like 60 something a couple days ago. So I went outside over to Power Mills Park and we just walked around. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, what advice do you guys have for people you don't know or that are in Fairport High School that might be struggling with, you know, just getting up every day doing the work they need to be doing what what advice do you guys have for you know the kids out there that you might not be close with what, what can they do to to improve their day and what can they do you know both personally and i guess you know arguably uh academically to 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 be better i'd really start with you oh uh, um this is a, a good question i probably like spend time with uh friends and stuff if you if you can or like just talk to people and uh find out how to like i guess uh what's the word stay connected Do, stay connected yeah so you don't like lose touch with people mm. yeah and what about academically what about their habits you know people that are you know what can they do to to stay engaged there so they don't fall too far behind uh probably just like maintain everything uh, so you don't really have work just stack and, and stack because you'll eventually just lose motivation to do it. Yeah. And that's uh, not good. Yeah. Jacob, how about you? Uh, just see this time that we, during this quarantine is like a gift, you know, like we don't usually during the school year, we're always so busy running around doing all these different things. But now we have like time to like spend doing with our families or doing things like picking up a new hobby, just use this time to like, just maximize the use of your time. And then academically, uh, just make sure you stay on top of it. Just check in with your teachers, make sure you're doing what you're supposed to and getting everything on time. And have you found that uh, you guys have had some more quality time with your family since this all started? Mm -hmm. I'd say so. Yeah, that's pretty rare from a parent's perspective. 
you know, my kids are young, but I'm picturing my two sons being your age on the cusp of going into the real world. I would cherish, I cherish every second I get, you know, with these guys. And I, I understand it's a challenge. Um, to, to, we're like putting out like homeschool schedules for these kids, but I'm sure your parents really cherish the chance to, to be close with you guys. Um, and as you said, it can be considered a gift, but I think it's a great perspective, Jacob. Um, you know, I, I guess the next, the next thing I wanted to ask you guys was, uh, um, given what the circumstances and we talked about like your physical fitness and wellness and that kind of stuff, you guys, have, you've trained with John Lynn, coach Lynn, who I still, I still use their workouts from U of R, uh, med performance. And then sometimes I design my own workouts. What are some things that you can do, you know, to, to maintain or maybe even elevate your personal fitness, you know, as you, as you go forward in this, not knowing how long this is going to take to, for it to break. So you're just doing push-ups and sit-ups, or do you sort of look for – are you looking for new resources? Like, what are you guys looking for? Uh, I've been just mainly trying to do push-ups and sit-ups, but trying to, like, increase the number I do every night. So, like, yeah. yesterday I'll do, like – I did, like, 50 push-ups and, like, 50 sit-ups, but maybe today I'll try to do, like, 60 push-ups and 60 sit-ups. Just try to, like, increase the number of, like, push-ups and sit-ups I do every day so, like, I can – get stronger and better should we have an edward uh sadler jacob park competition like back no. to the class captains <laughs> yeah. uh I, I know who's gonna win that one so <laughs> okay we'll just we'll just give it to jacob <laughs> well what about like vertical we'll do a vertical competition or oh, something like that so you can <laughs> yeah, i might i might take that one i don't know there we go <laughs> see yeah well, uh, well i appreciate your time guys um you know i i just you know i i feel like that your perspectives, both coming into my class and, and, and how you carried yourselves um, is always the reason why I made you a captain of my class, if you will, a leader in my class is you, you earned it, the way you treat other people, the way you, you know, you're, you're self-sufficient and motivated, you know, you're on time, you do the right things, you got a good sense of humor, which is so important to have, you know, you know some personality in what you do. So I just want to tell you how proud I am of you guys. I don't know when, if I'll be able to cross paths with you guys again for the rest of this year, I really hope I do. But, you know, I, I was tasked with um, hosting a podcast, you know, once or twice a week. And they said, hey, make a list of some students that you think would would do well. And you guys were, uh, you know, at the top of my list as people I really wanted to connect with. And, you know, I, I hope to connect with you again and wish you the best through this. And um, thanks so much for your time. Well, thank thanks, you, Coach. Pleasure. All right, guys. Take care. We'll see Take you later.